All right, here we go. This is a 3v3 custom match on Chasm between the blue team in the upper left-hand corner, Stardog in the Easter Osprey, Omega Saxon in the standard Warthog, and the classic Warthog. I'm going to go with the word classic from now on because that is what it says in the new loadout uh, UI. And tangibility in the classic Neo spinning around like crazy. And their opponents, the green team in the bottom right-hand corner, Megalo Magnus in the standard... Oh, damn it. Classic Neo, Polar Bears in the Steampunk Osprey, and Nuclear Pizza in the Steampunk Bomber. Taking a look at the loadout, Stardog actually has Turtles and Blaster Guardians in his uh, in his loadout, and Tangibility also has Blaster Guardians in his loadout as well as Bear Traps. Um, Omega Action actually has Jammers and Tangles, so not stuff that you see that commonly. Um, and on the green team, uh, we do see Polar Bears using that Booster Osprey. Uh, he probably will be artillery crazy with this, uh, just because, you know, that Booster Saucer is... Or not Booster, wow, I'm so used to saying Booster Saucer, but that Booster um, that booster Os uh, Osprey is really, really good at all that micro, moving everything around, uh, healing everything up, going from spot to spot, doing that, doing that um, you know, that really great... Or, you know, it, it's really good for a lot of that micro intangibility. Doing a quick attack on the top right corner, Megalomagnus, and um, I think that was... Pol uh, nuclear pizza uh, defending that right there but we do have blue uh, grabbing this middle outpost now they do have it yes they have all all four lights up and now immediately tangibility is dropping rebels to try to take care of these artillery uh, and nuclear pizza gonna uh, slash away and kill him extremely quick but he actually did force the artillery away from the center area and he it continually drops and blue is not really stopping the pressure continuing continually bringing more units over here and forcing green to bring to pull back very very quickly and i don't know if they're going to be able to actually hold this there's a lot of uh, artillery out so oh and omega saxon almost going down before he gets back to his outpost but uh does not and uh tangibility is just non-stop with these with these rebels just continually dropping and continually building rebels and bringing them to the top outpost as well dropping them on the least defended side this right side and uh we do not have anyone responding to it quite yet uh they are just still busy trying to take care of stardog and uh omega and has been killed, but now finally we do have Stardog accompanying tangibility. They do get the neutralize on this outpost, and uh, he is healing him up on the ground. So Megalomagnus is not doing him very good, or not going to be able to kill him very easily. Uh, there is uh, some infantry going in that was dropped by Nuclear Pizza, but they do chase away tangibility, and Stardog almost dead. Stardog is actually, but he will be able to get back to his outpost before he dies. And Polar Bears with an incredible artillery line over here. There are five Archies over here that I can see, uh, and and there is a hat to defend against flybys. Uh, but Tangi not stopping, dropping all these rebels. Um, and actually, there is a jammer out on the field for Mega Saxon, and there is nothing really getting hit. Um, it, it is going crazy. Oh my god, look, these, these artillery are actually just hitting random spots, not actually hitting anything. Um... Wow, this jammer is actually being really, really effective, and that's only a single jammer. We do have turtle out on the field by Stardog, sticking it right here in front of all the units. Gonna draw as much uh, artillery fire as it possibly can in a second. Oh, a third turtle actually goes down. There are two. There were two. There is a third one now, and the jammer is still doing a really good job preventing these artillery from doing anything. And now green with a really good spread of art uh, artillery and um and, and uh, dillos. Are actually not really uh, getting anywhere with this. Uh, Blue is really able to hold line, you know, on, on this extremely uh, like far out. Usually on the mid fight, you usually do not see them uh, this far out, this close to this cliff. But right now, Blue is really able to hold this uh, and keep a lot of units really, really close to this cliff. Um, uh, they are getting kind of taken out though. These artillery are going. Oh, that jammer was killed at some point. Um, but I, I, you know what? At this point, I would expect Omega Saxon to put down another one, and he is. He has not built one yet. He is building one now though and polar bear is still doing that heal up and uh not almost getting killed actually um and now Omega Saxon did put that other jammer down on the field, so it will, uh, but the thing is the units are really, really clumped up together. Uh, they really need to move them around, uh, or not really move them around, but get them spread out. The Stardog almost getting killed before before that, uh, before retreating there, but he does not uh, get uh, heavily enough under fire to be killed. And right now, Nuclear Pizza and Megalomagnus and uh, the Polar Bears are doing their darndest to, to get a good spread. Polar Bears with a look at this beautiful Archie spread, but it's really still not being able to break Blue's line of artillery and jammers and turtles as well and uh, tangibility now sending a more no more rebels he is doing he's making nothing but rebels trying to get the neutralized on this outpost and if he does successfully get that neutralized it really will extremely significantly hinder blue uh green from uh, doing any defense and he does finally get a neutralized uh there are no creeps are there any creeps there are some creeps uh moving up here but tangi is probably still going to continually bring these jackals and these creeps are going to get killed as well but he actually dropped the jackals over here offensively to try to kill some artillery um and there are five there's a lot of jackals down here and using that 
EMP. Uh, Tanji is slowing down their their attack, and look at this great line here that Blue is still able to maintain, even you know despite all those um despite all those Archies that were on the field. Uh, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of uh, blue units that are still over here uh, and the turtle is tanking a lot of the damage Stardog really needs to heal this one that's smoking black I don't think he's gonna be able to get to it in time before it uh, gets killed oh yes he does that artillery has not been able to kill it yet um, and at this point uh, blue is doing a really good job moving up and uh, even though the, the green is being able to re re reclaim this outpost they are now uh, really pulled back they are pulled back to the highest level ground that, are, that is over here uh, about next to this outpost uh, you know not counting this uh, this high ground on the cliff over here but the uh, blue team is able to. They already have two uh, two uh, tanks here on the uh, on the second on the second level, and uh, now green is just really struggling to keep up. But there are not that many artillery uh, in firing range for for blue team right now. Uh, they there. I don't see any of these artillery firing. No, I don't think any of them are firing at uh, at least at, at this clump of artillery over here. So this is a little bit. Um, th th this clump is very very effective right now for green team to use. Um, and start hug healing up what he can. Oh, gets EMP by Megalo Magnus. Will probably not get finished off here, especially with a Magnus Axe. And oh, the Megalo Axe does finish off Megalo Magnus, and uh, almost finishing off Polar Bears. Their tangibility did, uh, but they are continually doing a really good job leapfrogging up here. It's really, really crazy how uh, they've been able to hold this extremely well. And I do attribute it to those use of the turtles and the use of this jammer. It's really a good combination, actually. Now that you think about it, um, the, the, you know, jammers plus turtle is actually probably one of the most effective ways to combat against artillery. Albeit probably not that effective, you know, overall anyway, but, um, but still probably, you know, out of all the options that you can make, uh, using turtles to tank the damage and using, uh, using da jammers to, to mess with their accuracy, um, is actually doing a pretty good job holding these artillery off and not, you know, and green team is still getting pushed back here a lot. Look at all the units over here for blue. They've been able to mass up way more than they, they used to have over here. And at this point, uh, t uh tangibility and Stardog and, uh, and Omega Saxon actually are, are, are just really progressing really beautifully over here toward green team. Tangibility very low on life, but does flip away. I do think he's going to be able to, uh, no. Oh, he does get killed by that neutral T99, but, um, you know, it does deny that experience from green team getting getting the kill anyway. So, uh, but once again, green team is still really on the ropes, but the thing is, they do have Berthas out on the field now, and unfortunately for blue team, they do not have any Berthas in their loadout, and that is a really, really horrible thing to do um, in any 3v3. You really need Berthas. That's really the the uh, prime late game unit at this point, um, not to be confused with Air Mech Prime, but that is pretty much the premier prime Number one, most uh, most used, most effective uh, artillery uh, unit to begin with at all, uh, to, be, to be honest. Uh, and right now we do have tangibility going with another neutralized attempt at the top outpost with polar bears uh, chasing them away and actually doesn't keep them at that outpost, is sending them to the front door, which w does force you know a, l a small defense over here from green. And actually Tanji did set these rebels over here as well. And he is going to try to take out some money makers. One does go down. Um, and another one, oh, or was that one saved? I can't really tell. I really, really, really wish you could see cargo from every single player during spectate mode, but you can't right now. Uh, tangibility, I think, was able to finish that other one off. Uh, no, Polar Bears does grab that one, but there is, there have been two money makers going down for blue, for green team here, and Tanji, with that slingshot, uh, is gonna be able to get back to his outpost. Wow, what a great attack, and now at this point, uh, we still have kind of the same situation with blue with a lot of units down here, green with not that many units over here, but the problem is now we have two Berthas out on the field and this is just going to be kind of a downward slope for blue um, if they don't do a push of any kind or something like that anytime soon. Uh, I, I mean, they have artillery, yes, they have archies, but it's just going to be nothing compared to those Berthas. Now we do have three Berthas out on the field and I don't know if blue is going to be able to hold this. Uh, they've been doing such a good job so far, especially, uh, you know, as I said with those turtles and jammers, but I don't know. These Berthas are super strong, and they are just going to rain havoc down. Four now on the field. Polar Bear is doing a really good job repositioning them, healing them up, and Nuclear and, and uh, Nuclear and Megalo Magnus doing a great job uh, chasing them away. Uh, Megalo Magnus does get this uh, heal on Tangibility. Or not the heal. Starbuck got the heal, but he did get the EMP on Tangibility. But I don't think Tanji will be able to get this neutralized. He will probably be able to kill. He, he has killed pretty much every single unit over here, just using Rebels. Just using Rebels, so that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. Um, but, you know, once again, this is tangibility. Let's be honest. That's um, that's kind of a that's kind of a standard mediocre thing for tangibility to do nowadays, isn't it? But 
Uh, we do have polar bears. You know, continuing this, this he's doing a really, really good job keeping all of his, uh, keeping all of his units alive here, using that osprey, using that booster osprey, getting from unit to unit really, really quick, and he is doing also a really good job not dying. Um, there is this Goliath over here to tank a lot of damage from whatever that blue sets over there, uh, and polar is doing a good job as well, healing, keeping that healed up. Uh, we do have a quick uh, drop by tangibility again. Oh no, this wasn't a drop. This was a send, I think, or at least these were. You know, I'm not really sure, but we are finally hitting halftime. Uh, and uh, tangibility again over here with, uh, with just trying to get as much damage as he can to just stop his halftime uh, credits boost. And we don't see Green doing the same thing. Obviously, they don't have the middle outpost and Tangi getting finished off by Mag Megalo there. Um, and uh, Omega Saxon continuing what Tanji started, putting more damage down on green team, and I think this probably will be enough to uh, keep them from getting any more uh, any more bonus credits. But Omega Saxon does go down. Uh, however, they have d they have done what they went what they went for, what they came there for. Uh, and now we do have uh, j uh, gem uh, Goliaths out on the field for um, for blue team, so that will pretty much take the place of the turtles. Uh, there is pretty much no point to use a turtle if you have a Goliath to use instead. Way more d way more HP. Um, I, you know, I actually haven't count, uh, uh, calculated the total HP. Uh, someone, someone posted that in the comments, but the total HP of a uh, of a turtle, uh, considering the 10% less damage when they are uh, turtled up. Uh, you know, you obviously have to take small factors into account, like initial damage before it gets uh, before it curls up to a ball. And polar bear is really, really overextending himself, but gets back really, really good at at knowing how far he can go without getting himself killed. So overextending was probably not the right term to use. And Omega Saxon. Well, you're trying to focus down who, whoever he can with that Warthog, but not really getting that much support with his teammates. Um, and actually, Tanji dropping way past enemy lines, but using that cloak to stay alive and does get back to his outpost before he gets killed. But now, green team with with Berthas, with Goliaths, making a really good slow push toward this middle outpost. Um, I don't know if Green's or if Blue's going to be able to hold the, uh, the the line with just with just Goliaths and no Berthas. Uh, you know, Berthas plus Goliaths is obviously stronger than Archie's plus Goliaths. Uh, and and even though Blue has two Goliaths up here, which is really really um, actually doing a really good job uh, keeping keeping their their position in this fight. Um, and Stardog had to pull pull the Mac actually. One is still up here, but I think Stardog's probably going to oh Stardog does get finished off in the air, and without that Osprey support, Green's going to really be able to do a, gain a lot of ground. Tanji all. Also goes down. Omega Saxon, the only one here uh, left for Blue Team, and almost gets focused down over his outpost, actually. Um, and now Nuclear Pizza and uh, Megal Magnus finishing off that Goliath. Uh, and now finally, Stardog is back in the in the fight. Uh, does bring another Goliath out on the field. So Green hasn't been able to gain as much ground as they I, maybe they could have. I'm not really sure though. But they they do have a lot more Berthas out on the field. There are one, two, three, four. There are still only four out on the field. Um, I do think that uh, that Nuclear Pizza um, actually who has them actually. Um, no, Polar Bears is actually the one with uh, with them in his loadout, but uh, Nuclear Pizza is uh, going for the front door here. No one has responded for Blue Team yet, uh, and he is just continually attacking here. Those Rebels are going to uh, just take forever to kill that uh, that um, that uh, uh, Armadillo, but Omega Saxon does come here to finish off Nuclear Pizza. A little bit of life does go down, but uh, you know nothing that a lunchbox can't uh, can't fix. Um, however, you do have to uh, use up that socket for a lunchbox instead of a money maker, which is a little bit painful. Um, but right now we do see a Goliath push coming out for Blue Team. It's just a two Goliath push, so I don't think this is going to get that far at all. There's another one coming up from the side, um, and whatever they can do to kill these uh, these frontline hats uh, it is really really good. It probably will be able to take down the Longhorn before it gets killed. No nuclear does swoop it up before it gets killed. But Tanji dropping a lot of rebels over here, trying to get the neutralized. There are a lot of bunkled, bunkered infantry. Did I say bunkled? But bunkered infantry. Uh, so these rebels are going to have quite a tough time, and they are actually not prioritizing the outpost. They are prioritizing prioritizing units nearby um, and right now we do have a drop over here at the top neutralized for blue team um, there are a lot of Goliaths coming up over here actually um, I'm pretty sure that did that did come from mid from mid or at least the middle area and now at this point blue has been able to neutralize this and I don't know if there's gonna be anybody coming with enough infantry uh, we do see Omega Saxon with three creeps but that is definitely not gonna be enough Tanji dropping rebels instead of trying to take the outpost at the top I guess Omega Saxon is gonna be uh, they're gonna to defer to Omega Saxon to try to do that but he only grabs two creeps instead of four uh, I don't know if that's gonna be enough to take this outpost at, the, at this point in time especially if especially especially with Megalo Magnus coming with three, uh, four infantry of his own uh, this will not be uh, claimed by any of the any of the uh, teams but uh, Megalomagnus does get finished off by Omega Saxon in the air 
Um, and at this point, green has really... Uh, oh, there are not many units over here anymore at all. A lot of them have been killed by each other. Uh, Goliaths over here... Uh, I guess the green with these Goliaths has a slight advantage, but Stardog and Tenji are really going to be able to clean these up, especially with Megalomagnus and Nuclear Pizza both dead. Polar Bear is the only one over here. He does save this Goliath, though. Uh, he does have those booster boosters, so he is not going to land at all with that Osprey. Um, but we do have green, uh, blue team, able to actually completely secure this outpost. Um, if I were uh, one of the blue team members, I'd probably even bunker something if I had the extra time or presence of mind anyway. Uh, but Omega Saxon putting more money makers down, and this is really going to be uh, bad news for, blue, for green team. Uh, without those extra four sockets, if you are going to take an outpost away, take away that factory because it does have four sockets versus just the power station. Only has three right here. Um, and uh, actually, one is actually being used by a hat. So at this point, Omega Saxon is uh, has a really really good secure on this outpost and uh now uh, tangibility and stardog only have to really hold the line instead of advance more just because that 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 outpost is is claimed oh and we do have megalomagnus trying to do something over here but not that much uh you know not that much he can do with just those high level creeps uh it's not really gonna do that do uh any neutralizing or unit killing at all in tangy going for the front door just trying to put in whatever damage he can with two blaster guardians in hand uh both of them do get killed but tangy doesn't get killed before he gets back to his outpost and megalomagnus trying to uh trying to fill these money uh these sockets with money makers you know at this point obviously they are not going to be power starved or at least not that power starved they're going to be way more credit start and so polar bears actually with 12,000 he really can queue up another bertha except the problem is they are okay okay they are a little bit power stock but okay i'll take that back but you know it, it, the credits is much uh, is a much much higher concern now we do have three goliaths in in the face of this middle outpost but with uh three goliaths defending and, and the longhorn and three three blue max um i don't know how long these goliaths are gonna last um one does get killed, um, but uh, I, I don't, you know, Mega Saxon doing his thing with Star Starlog healing him up, and uh, I don't know, okay, not actually gonna get uh, killed there. Or not get a kill there. And Omega Saxon, he really needs to hit the smoking black life, but uh, Megalomagnus does pick it up and save it. Tanji does go down with that doll, and uh, Omega Saxon getting killed as well. Stardog, the only one here to hold the line with these Goliaths, but it's not really going to be super, super difficult with an Osprey and Goliaths to be able to hold this line. Uh, the Osprey has been recently nerfed, um, not necessarily nerfed, but the mechanic has changed. It has a higher flat rate heal and a lower percentage heal. So it will be slightly eff more effective um, with uh, lower health units and. Um, and uh, 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 less effective with those higher health units, but uh, like the Goliath. Um, but Green has been able to neutralize this, but uh, more creeps going in, or more infantry rather, uh, going in. I think that was probes and a level 4 creep as well. But Blue has been able to retake this. So at this point, if Stardock can just stay here, heal up his Goliaths. Oh, but getting a little bit focused, not not quite completely. Polar Bear is almost getting killed by Stardog, but Stardog does not uh, is is not able to finish him off there. Uh, tangibility and uh, let's see who is he fighting against. I could not really tell, but Polar Bears is actually uh, no um not really. Uh, he is still really holding the line really well. So we do have the same kind of fight throughout this entire match. Megalomagnus trying to neutralize this. There is no defending unit on this corner, which I probably would hope to see from Blue Team, but they do not. Megalomagnus does not finish off that neutralize, but that creep does not finish the job either. Um, and now we do have a little no Stardog is just doing a little bit of attack here They are trying to get the neutralized once again the neutralizing the out neutralizing an outpost is, is extremely uh, Important it's really effective and if you can get neutralized just like right now blue as uh, green has been able to get a neutralize on this outpost by uh, Shooting in with Bertha's and now they have been able to uh, kind of really it, it like not having an outpost in the area is a significant gift if you do not have this middle outpost, like Blue does not have this middle outpost, they will soon be able to rehab, retake it because of these five creeps walking in. But that did give Green a small opening to get those kills, get these Goliaths down here, and now see Tangibility is rehealing at his outpost. He wouldn't be able to do that if they didn't have it. So we, you know, neutralizing an outpost is extremely effective, and Megalomagnus is trying to do that over here with these uh, creeps, and he actually does get that. So if, uh, and, and they have a whole bridge over here to traverse these blue creeps. So if they don't actually, um, you know, manually take that, it will be a while for uh, for blue team to uh, retake that outpost. And now Megalomagnus is um, uh, bringing Goliath up. Is he going to try to push with these Goliaths to that top outpost? But Omega Saxon bringing some creeps, but only three because they are level four creeps. They are too heavy for him to carry too many, but bringing two more, but uh, really not going to do the job with Megalomagnus bringing three more level four creeps. Nuclear Pizza trying to finish. Okay, Megalomagnus does get killed in the air. Nuclear Pizza is pretty much sitting bait here for uh, tangibility to get that EMP and finish off Nuclear Pizza. Actually, Nuclear Pizza got killed by that um 
by that Seeker sitting over there. And now Omega Saxon with the defensive infantry, um, I do think that, oh, he and he is bringing them for the uh, for that top outpost, that top right outpost, and he probably okay. He does bring two more, uh, but the, but the Megal Magnus is back with two creeps of his own. Uh, but the, the the probes much much faster do grab it in time, and so we do have this back in control of blue team and Megal Magnus trying to retake it over and over again. But uh, now Tanji over here trying to help uh, Omega Saxon and almost chases down Meg Megalo Magnus. But Megalo Magnus does get that land and that cloak, and Tanji does have to fly away. Oh, and Starhawk does. Did get killed uh, sometime in that mid fight. Um, so any time that the one Osprey on on your team gets killed and you are in an arty battle, just like you pretty much have every single time on Chasm, especially with all these Berthas, you that that is a dangerous time. Whenever you're against a team with a single Osprey or even two Ospreys, or you know, if you're against a team and all of the Ospreys on their team get killed and it's an artillery war. Uh, that is a really good time to scout and see if you can make your move. Um, and if you can't, do it immediately. Use that time that he has to respawn, um, that, uh, you know, to, to 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 take and take that to your advantage. And we do have a neutralize here uh, by blue by green team. There weren't too many. Oh, a nuclear pizza, very low on life. Uh, he is okay. He just has to wait for this creep to walk in. He can get that heal, uh, but actually not getting followed by any of the blue team members is going to be able to get back to his fort. But uh, this bottom outpost is still really not that defended. Tanji is continually dropping these rebels, and uh, oh, a seeker does go down. I do think Tanji is going to get eventually finished by all oh, these two seekers actually. So uh, nuclear pizza with his bombing. Oh, and Tanji cloaking away, using that really really good uh, energy efficiency because he does have. Uh, oh, actually no, I thought he had. Uh, <laughs> I thought he had the green bulb, but uh, he does not. But you know, just 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 using that cloak ability to get away on the ground, especially with he does have Tycho. Um, is able to get away really, really quickly, really, really easily, and using that ground cloak is just a really good way to get away. It's kind of like the same thing that saucers do with Blink uh, to get away from, uh, to get high pressure situations. Uh, and, and Tanji is using that cloak just like he probably will already. Yes, he will do it again. Uh, he is using that cloak to just get away from high pressure situations over here. And Stardog stacking creeps, trying to get uh, whatever advantage he can. They are going to go across this bridge, and Omega Saxon trying to clear what he, whatever he can as well with this uh, Warthog fire. Um, and he actually does clear that T99, so I don't think Blue Team is aware of this yet. Uh, no, they do not see that on the minimap. Uh, not quite, um, sort of, but, you know, that's really not something to pay attention to right now if you are a uh, green team. Uh, and let's see, I am going to keep the action on these high level creeps. They are going to pretty much demolish everything over here, except Nuclear Pizza is here to bomb, so I don't know how long they are going to last, but they were pretty much destroying him in the air. Uh, now they finally do get finished by those bombs, uh, And but Tanji with more rebels here. If he can get this neutralized, you know, every single time they get that Tanji uh, gets this neutralized on this, on this power station, they are getting a huge advantage, and they are able to make great strides toward progressing to that, to that bottom power station uh, position traditionally anyway. Um, but the big problem here right now is the Berthas. They only have they only have Goliaths over here, uh, and they don't have any Berthas to fight against it. Uh, we do have a Mega Saxon with Tangos in his loadout uh, in his build queue. He is going to bring them to the enemy fort and put in whatever damage he can. But with his Goliaths back here, they are going to last all but one second, um, and they do die before they can really much pretty much do anything. Mega Magnus trying to trying to uh, you know scare a Mega Saxon away, but probably he probably would have ran away anyway just because all those Goliaths were either going to kill him or you know put enough damage on him to uh, to get that kill or to get him to get him scared away uh, and Tanji thrown oh, okay <laughs> I, I thought he had something in his in his in his uh, in his cargo but whatever it was if there was anything did get killed uh, but Stardog and Tanji causing a lot of trouble for green team here with this Goliath um, Stardog healing it up and uh, almost dead actually Stardog I'm not sure how long he will last nuclear is trying to hit him with that uh, that mantis strike but Tanji also very low on life probably will get killed no trying to cloak away back to his outpost and I don't think yeah polar bears was not able to finish him off who that tickle cannon was not able to finish him off there in that liftoff and at this point Tanji doing a really great job doing a uh, you know EMP and hitting hitting it from the back oh but does get finished in the air by nuclear pizza he does throw up the doll the doll I'm not really sure how to say that Tanji uh, let me know if I'm saying that properly um, but uh, at this point they have oh blue team has been able to bring a couple longhorn up here 
and clear a lot of the units that they had stationed here. Uh, they still have the Berthas on the very, very high ground, so that is a little bit of a problem. Oh, oh and Green is pushing out here with these Goliaths. Uh, oh man, this is a lot of Goliaths. I do think this will work. I think this will work. Oh, however, Stardog is here to heal everything up, micro everything up, uh, micro everything up to heal, and uh, Omega Saxon is here as well, as well as Tangibility. So Green Team has uh, has done it. You know that that was a really large push, but with all the mech support over here from Blue Team, uh, I d this is just going to be shut down like crazy. A lot of tanks go down, a lot of defensive units go down, um, and at this point, Polar Bears just bringing bombs. Not really going to be that effective. Uh, does actually get that kill on Tangibility ability though wow um and this new this outpost did get neutralized uh, i really really think that okay yes blue is definitely prioritizing on retaking the outpost omega uh, saxon with those uh with those um with those uh, probes, he really needs to queue up another one. He did have to drop that other one because he noticed that that Goliath was very low on life. But he only has three probes. He really needs to start spamming these arcs with these infantry. Oh, oh! But there are creeps walking in here, um, and Polar Bears does see that there is. It's pretty much a lost cause. There is nothing that you can really that he could really do. Uh, however, he did uh, knock down a bulb, I think. Oh, but oh no, he dropped infantry. So, uh, but Omega Saxon has been able to uh, retake this outpost with. I think that was Tanji's help. Um, and we are hitting overtime two now. The bleed out is start is gonna start, and we are gonna see a buttload of drops here. Um, but however, this front door is getting protected by a lunchbox and by these Goliaths. So Meg Saxon's long form drop is doing uh it's doing a fair amount of damage. It did get blocked by a Goliath, and he is getting healed up by Stardog very, very effectively. Uh but he, you know, with his hero hog, gonna do a lot of damage. Uh and whoa, whoa, what's happening? <laughs> okay, now Megalo Magnus is uh, is, uh okay, all the green players. Oh, we do have a cloak drop here by by tangibility he does have a longhorn hitting the front door and with those blaster guardians this is gonna die really really quick um uh, polar bears with that block but tangi will get away um, so this is going to be a concentrated drop fest here at the green fort, um, and even if, they, if, if it isn't, the bleed out is definitely going to finish them off anyway. Um, whoa, did something explode? Uh, yeah, something did because the camera did just shake and blur. But we do have the green team almost dead. Uh, uh, right now we do have Omega Saxon trying to get the neutralize on this outpost as well, which will further, uh, you know, further hasten the bleed off. Uh, by green team or, or on green team uh, no, there is one bulb up left so he did not uh, successfully do that but this outpost is pretty pretty much lost for, for, for green team it is pretty much no hope for them to get it uh, they will probably die to this overtime bleed unless green team or, uh, unless blue team actually gets more uh, more su successful drops off and that is probably going to be from the top outpost a um, little bit of dogfighting going down by tangibility and he does get killed by that double team of nuclear pizza and polar bears um, and at this point, Stardog is bringing some uh, armadillos for the fort as well. He is going to try to get this finished. He really needs to body block those dillos, uh, but, you know, not that much damage going down. Those dillos almost killed, uh, already killed, actually. And Stardog trying to get the salvage. I'm not really sure what that was about. But at this point, Green Team is pretty much dead. Um, and uh, Nuclear Pizza, I'm not really sure what he's trying to accomplish here, but there is pretty much no way back for uh, for for uh, for, uh, for Green Team. They, they did try to start a push over here with these Goliath, but the over Overtime bleed out has finished them off at this point, and uh, blue team, uh, Stardog, Omega Saxon, and Tangibility have been able to grab this victory in this 3v3 custom match on Chasm. Um, that was just an incredible war, um, artillery slash Bertha war, and there was no Berthas on blue team actually, so that was just an incredible holdout by blue without any Berthas, just stationing a lot, of, stationing a lot of Goliaths, abusing that Osprey heal on those Goliaths, and uh, was able to hold middle, grab that top outpost, um, and from there, uh, you know, do a lot of drops, get a lot of damage in, and the overtime bleed eventually finished off green team. So, if you want to see any more games like this, or actually if you play any awesome games like this, send me the replays, ruy0x at gmail.com, or simply contact me on Steam, it's just ruy, and uh, I check out my, uh, my, my, my links in my video description, support the other Aramech, um, you know, the other Aramech endeavors, check out my channel uh, description as well, it has other links to Aramechers, so uh, if you are interested in that, please check it out. And this is RUI, and that was game. See you next time.